Joke Vlog. On Stars, I watched from 1988, Spellbinder. This is, well, I wouldn't say it's a Kelly Preston vehicle, but I haven't seen a lot of movies led by Tim Daly. So maybe it's a Tim Daly vehicle. He plays a very everyman attorney. Kind of milk toast. Not a lot I can say for him. Other than one day he's getting out of the rec center with his boys, including Rick Rosovich. Am I saying that wrong? You know, Ginger's boyfriend, the guy who died trying to 1v1 a Terminator. Well, they're getting out of the rec center and there's this guy slaps around Kelly Preston. And the two of them, they intervene. And you're thinking, okay, 1988 Kelly Preston, she's at or around the height of her powers, right? So, uh, tries to get her to leave boyfriend pimp or whoever comes over Tim Daly's house, says that she can heal him. He has a lot of baggage or something. Gives him a naked massage. They get it on. He leaves the keys and stuff to her as he goes to work. You know, like Tom Cruise did Rebecca De Mornay. Only she doesn't steal an egg or anything. All goes as planned. Nothing goes wrong. He's kind of have a, has a little party. Shows off his new gal to the guys at work. And everything's looking okay. But she has powers. She can get the turkey out of the oven with her bare hands. And then heal herself. Tim Daly's secretary does not like this. We start to see that he gets threatened. Lady comes to his office. Tries to beat herself up. To frame him for, for assaulting her. There's a pretty cool scene where his car gets levitated and, and smashed in the parking garage. And you know it's not as simple as, oh, it's computer. That's one of the great things about watching the 80s movie. They had to do some links of problem solving to achieve things. Uh, they're like, hey, we want Kelly Preston back. Totally understandable. But uh, would you go to great lengths to be seduced by a witch? Maybe not, but if it was Kelly Preston, maybe. So he goes and takes her to Swamp Thing from Con Air. He's got like this bunker. And you're thinking, okay, that'll be able to protect her. Totally off camera, the witch coven uh, breaks in, and I guess the abductor he's looking for end up going to the beach. And this is a movie that has decent production values. It is DP'd by Adam Greenberg, DP of Iron Eagle and Terminator 2, for which he got an Oscar nomination. But I'll admittedly tell you, I think Thelma and Louise was probably the best looking movie that year, as far as cinematography goes. At any rate, find out there's a sacrifice thing going on at the beach. He alerts his buddies. Also, Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat is a cop. He's a detective looking into this witch coven stuff. Gets a lot of his buddies on the scene. They're gonna try to interrupt this. And Tim Daly gets caught. He tries to free Kelly Preston. She turns to switcheroo. He's gonna get sacrificed. The cops show up just in time, right? To watch the ceremony. Yeah, Tim Daly gets knifed in the heart by Ginger's boyfriend. It was a setup the whole time. And that's really the crux of which this movie was built on, was how can we have a big setup conclusion and then try to write a movie from there? So a whole lot of everything before seems kind of boring. Like I said, the main character, you don't much care about him, but you don't hate him at the same time necessarily. Well, we see again, actually off camera evidently, the secretary got killed and they say there's an accident and Tim Daly's missing. You know, Shang Tsung's talking to Ginger's boyfriend about it. And uh, we do a little, little bit more into this in case it didn't hit home that it was all set up the whole time. We see the next guy being served up, walking out of the rec center with uh, Ginger's boyfriend, sees Kelly Preston get slapped and we assume the process will repeat. This wasn't awful. It certainly isn't terribly memorable. 
Yes, Kelly Preston gets her boobs out pretty quickly, but you get a better look in Secret Admirer, if that's what you want in a Kelly Preston movie. Uh, interesting note here, Kelly Pe Preston is probably the most famous actress to never get any nomination whatsoever, aside from Razzie's. I'm saying not Emmy, Grammy, Golden Globe, I'm saying no nominations of anything positive merit. And yet, reasonably famous. You know, she was a trending topic when she died, and it's been about a year. All in all, I give Spellbinder two out of four stars. Hey, it's Vaughn's mom again, so I just wanted to remind you that instead of buying Vaughn's weird pictures online in various states of undress, you can just bookmark his Amazon affiliate link, and then when you shop, throw it on Amazon, he gets a few pennies here and there.